<laughs> Beautiful. Needs a buffer spring for recoil mitigation. I think we're good here. Hi everyone, good day to you and welcome back. We're gonna do something a little bit different this time. See, I'm sure that many of you have seen before and recognize my assault low gun. I call it the assault low gun because it's ginormous, but I, I feel like it's lacking in some character. So I think I wanna modify this slightly to, uh, to help it live up to its new nickname. And that's what this video is gonna be about. And the way I'm gonna achieve that is through a conversion slash customization process where I'm actually going to turn this into an assault low gun. See, we have a stock, we've got a bipod, we've got a optic mount for an AK, we've got the Chinesium special red dot. See that? It still works. Can you see it? I don't think so. Oh, it's also a green dot. There you go, now you can see it. So it's red dot and green dot. We've got a standard capacity magazine, vertical foregrip, and some hardware. And I also got a pistol grip, but I don't know if I can really work that into the situation here. So we'll use that later if I can. So what I'm thinking here is I'm gonna take all these airsoft parts and uh, modify them to house my assault blowgun. And I think I can pull that off. This, this right here is hollow inside. I just need to kind of shape it a little bit. And if we cut back slightly at the top of this uh, airsoft gun stock, it should fit in there rather nicely. So let's get to work with the die grinder and see if we can't accomplish this. Stay tuned, this is gonna be fun. We're gonna have some loud noises to contend with. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna use a carbide and a die grinder. So I'm gonna start by cutting the top of this back to create a recess uh, for the trigger assembly to fit into. So that's what we're gonna do next, loud noises. Really loud noises. Safety squints engaged. All right, we're through. Like I said, that stock is hollow, or grip is hollow, so we're through here. Now we just need to start taking away material until it fits. I hope it's gonna fit. It better fit. I've got way too much stock in this idea for this to fail. Uh, I need to get, even the angle is close. Look at that, it's a good angle. I think I can make this happen. I need to start taking taking this much material back right here, or this, this area of material. A lot of that's gotta come away. All right, back to loud noises and high speed. <laughs> We're getting somewhere now.
see if this thing's going to fit. Not exactly. It's getting close, but no cigar. Let's trim this down. Continuing loud noises. Everything I do is loud noises. I don't even know why I sound the alarm anymore. Oh, it's getting closer. So super, super close. Uh, I need to widen up this area here a little bit more. huge mess on my box. So I, I have to finish this so I can use the assault blowgun to clean the mess. Hmm, a little wider around this area. A little bit more. Okay, let's cut off a little bit of this uh, drip action right here. Just shave it down, so to speak. in as it's going to get. Oh, we've got a conflict of components. Trigger sticks. Need to mill out some right there and some right there.
can't have a sticking trigger. That's not going to work. A little bit more on that bottom side. Okay, yeah, we're getting somewhere now. Nice. Okay, now we need to secure the barrel to the stock. Let's try, let's slip this guy on right here. Hmm. A little light on space, or too much, too, a little heavy on space. I need to shim that. Zip ties. Now keep in mind, we're just prototyping right now. There's always room for final improvement. I don't know if zip ties are gonna work. It may not be thick enough. Well, let's see if I point it up. Then I should be able to just kind of jam this thing in there. Hmm, okay. Yeah, that'll work for, for R&D purposes, I think. a little tight. Again, it'll work for R&D purposes. Ah, here we go. I'll downsize the zip tie to a smaller unit. Right there. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Begin threading now, please. There we go. We're out of alignment. Too far. Okay. Put that back on. Okay, we're looking good. Tighten that up, pinch, click. Okay, so far so good. Uh, we need optics. Okay, so I, I want to run some screws through this, but the doors are closing and we're almost done for the day. So I'm just gonna zip tie them for now, just to kind of mock this up and see if it's gonna work. I can run some self-tapping screws through it or install some bolts at a later time. Right now, I just want to get it, get it into a good operating mock-up. Zip ties are great for R&D. Okay, let's get the optic mounted. It's an eBay special Firefield red dot. Okay. Let's get this guy in position here. Good. Is it aligned? No. Back hooks are not hooking. There. Click. Red dot click. Oh man, you guys, I think we got a winner here. Stick our bipod on it. And I just need to, I think I'll zip tie the foregrip on it too. Again, this is temporary for R&D purposes only. Just to see if it's gonna work out, which it is.
across these zip ties so they can't slide out of the out of their positions. There. This is insane, isn't it? Absolutely ridiculous. Check it out, we got it, it's built. We have a fully tactical assault blowgun. Oh yeah, let's go blow it off with the tired machine, clean off all the shavings. Yeah, now I can hunt Pete tomorrow effectively. Let's see. <laughs> there we go. And people say I have too much time on my hands, but I, I think that's just fancy. Oh yeah. Oh, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. I brought a magazine. Yeah, I need to figure out how to attach that. I, I don't think I want to use this magazine. This is kind of a nice one, but maybe I can zip tie that thing in too. Okay, I'll just shove it in there for now. Okay, so the magazine doesn't really hang out like it should be, but that uh, I can work on that later. So, so far, we have success. Here, let's, uh, let's go in for our first ever assault blowgun cam. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, hang on, I gotta turn on my, turn on my green dot here. You guys see it? Uh, there it is, yep. Now we're tacked to cool. I don't think the cam's picking it up. Oh, there it is, you saw it. Yeah, there's our green dot. <laughs> All right. Okay, it's like it's like seven o'clock. I've been here too late. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call this for good. Stay tuned for any updates on the assault blow gun. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a fantastic time making this thing. That being said, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. There's no window in the back of you. Oh yeah. Gonna get Pete. Wolverine! Yeah, I'm gonna snipe him from across the shop first thing tomorrow morning. So get up on like that. Lay down suppressive fire. Change positions. Oh yeah, it's on now. Oh yeah. I still need to figure out how to mount the magazine. But like I said, we're in R&D right now. We're gonna, this is gonna get dialed in much better than this. Here, let's put that right there. Oh, you know what? I gotta clean my mess. I can't, I can't close this out without demonstrating. Hang on. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Make sure it works. What was I thinking? I'm sorry guys, I forgot all about that part. Here. Yeah, there's a huge mess all over the toolbox. We can't have that. Uh oh. Uh Oh, you know what? The compressors are empty. Dang. Oh well. We'll do a low power test. Yeah, it's after hours. The compressors are empty. We drained them. Okay. Clean all that stuff out of here. Cool. Okay, until the next time, assault blowgun. We'll just post this up just like so. And red dot powering down. Mm.